In this video, we will try to solve a problem that was asked in IIT GM Economics paper of 2022. The question is like this. Given the production function Q is equal to 6 under root L and supply of labor is given as L is equal to under root W, where L and W denote number of laborers and wage rate respectively. If the unit price of product is Rs. 243, then profit maximizing value of wage rate is rupees dash dash okay so we have to find the value of w here okay <clears throat> sorry now what we are being given here we are being given the production function q is equal to 6 under root l okay and supply of labor is l is equal to under root w okay and price of product is being given as unit price of product is being given as 243 let me write it like this let us p subscript q denotes the price of uh, unit product q which is equal to 243 okay this is the information that is being given to us okay now <clears throat> what is the total uh, profit total profit as we know is equal to total revenue that means price into output minus total cost what is the co total cost here total cost is simply wage rate times number of laborers employed okay now what is a unit price of output that's 243 so we can write 243 what is output output is this very thing that is 6 under root l minus now what is w if l is equal to under root w we can write w is equal to if i transpose this root it will become square okay so that means our w will be equal to l square so in place of w i can write l square into we have this l okay and if we try to solve it further so this is six threes are 18 Six fours are twenty-four. That's twenty-five. Six twos are twelve. Uh, Thirteen, fourteen. So we have fourteen hundred fifty-eight uh, into. So I can write this like this: one upon two l to the power one upon two. So I have just uh, written it in uh, the exponent form here. Uh, then we have uh, minus l square into l is l cube. This is our profit function. Okay. Now first order condition for profit maximization as we know first order condition for profit maximization uh, let me write it here for profit maximization requires that the derivative of profit function with respect to l should be equal to zero okay that means we need to partially differentiate this profit function with respect to l and set it equal to zero okay so we have one four five eight derivative of l to the power one upon two is simply this uh, one upon two will become coefficient exponent becomes coefficient then we have l and exponent is subtracted by one by power function rule okay uh, minus derivative of l cube is simply this three becomes the coefficient we have l and this exponent is subtracted by one okay if we uh, further solve this will come out to be uh, two sevens are fourteen. Two twos are four. One the other two nines are eighteen. So we have here l to the power one upon two minus one comes out to be minus one upon two minus three l square. So this is also equal to zero. This is also equal to zero here. Now we can write it like this: seven to nine. Transposing this. Uh, uh, l to the power minus 1 upon 2 it will become l to the power plus 1 upon 2 here okay if i uh, transpose this term on rhs it will become positive so we have 3l square here okay now just uh, cross multiplying uh, if i transpose this term here and this uh, 3 here so we have 7 to 9 upon 3 is equal to l square into l to the power 1 upon 2 okay so we have 3 2s are 6 uh, 3 4s are 12 uh, 
am I doing it right? Or yes, I am doing it right. Three threes are nine is equal to now we have same basis we can add up the exponents we have 2 plus 1 upon 2 is the exponent 2 to the 4 to the pass upon 2 so we have l to the power 5 upon 2 okay now transposing uh, this exponent here it will get reciprocated uh, and become the exponent here that means l will be equal to 243 and 5 upon 2 will become 2 upon 5 okay simple uh, mathematics here now this is 243 so now so we can take the factors of 243 so let me write it here if we can take the factors here 243 243 so taking the prime factors we have 3 8 are 24 3 ones are three three twos are six seven eight three sevens are twenty one three nines are twenty seven three threes are nine and three ones are three so we have one two three four five okay i can write it like this l is equal to in place of 243 i can write three into three into three into three into three so this is three to the power five and we have 2 upon 5 also here okay or i can write l is equal to 3 5 into 2 upon 5 this 5 and 5 gets cancelled that means l is equal to 3 square that is 9 so uh, number of laborers employed will be equal to 9 at the profit maximizing uh, level of if we use the profit maximizing condition now if l is equal to 3 then what will be our wage rate now just simply plug the value of l here to get the wage rate so we have w is equal to l square that means w is equal to the value of l is 9 which we calculated and it is squared that means wage rate should be equal to 9 9 are 81 okay so profit maximizing level of wage rate should be equal to 81 i hope i make myself clear i'm not sure whether i have done uh, this uh, question correctly or not but i will take your valuable valuable uh, feedback uh, okay so thank you